Hey, baseball fans, I'm Heidi Watney, and welcome to the show. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. Rays baseball comes your way next. Tyler Glasnow, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? A change of scenery might be just what Glass now needed. Started his career with the Pirates. Never been a question about the stuff. Big time arm. 95 to 97 mile an hour fastball. Good curveball. This guy is what they look like. Big strong guy. The concern with him throwing Leading enough strikes. If he's throwing strikes, he's hitter. tough to hit. Lou striding in. Yeah. Lou Gehrig. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And it's fouled away. Glasnow is kind of an interesting guy when you dig into his starting pitching tendencies. As starters go, he does a nice job of limiting base hits, but what's proven to give him trouble at times is the walk. He tends to issue a lot of free passes, more than you'd like to see. That's an interesting note, Batty V. I think one of the things that he doesn't give himself enough credit for, when he falls behind in the count, two and one, three and one, he's the kind of guy that's just not going to lay one in there and let you whack it. He'd rather start with a fresh count to a new batter. So I wouldn't look at that as a negative. He just isn't the kind of guy that's real aggressive when he falls behind in the count. Two balls and a strike to count. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. Woody Keller, this is my nightmare. He likes to call a pitch above the zone, above the belt. I know guys say those are the pitches that go deep, but I'm telling you, if you're calling that high strike. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. It is gone! Holy cow! Oh my goodness! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! A solo shot down the line in right. Number 36 on the year for him. As the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be. New inning set to get underway, and digging in is the veteran DH, Lou Gehrig. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Owen won the count. And the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Renfro will wait on it. And he's got it for the first out. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And in steps the Iron Horse, Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig. There we go. Hey, let her rip. Let her rip. Here's the first pitch to him. Into center field, line drive base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. So a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the night. And there you see the Yankees leaderboard as he finds himself second in that category.
Digging in once again. Eddie Matthews. A hit in two at bats for him at this point Eddie. in the ballgame. Matthews. Let's go, big fella. Here now the 2 2. Hit hard on the ground to second. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Yeah. Now a long throw to third. And he'll oh, make it hey. into third, and their runners at the corners now to start out the inning. Well, they've been treating him like a punching bag out there. As we take a look at the line, you can see that he's given up double digit hits, and things don't look like they're going to the get any field, better. He might not last much longer. Aaron Judd. Come on, baby. See it? Drive it. 0-2 oh, count. Here's the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Hey, nice and patient. Get your pitch. The batter, number 24, second baseman, Robinson. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. He's got it to second for one, but the return throw will be too late, and the run is in to score. On to first, but not in time. He beats it out to keep the inning alive, and the run is in to score. Looked like that might be an inning-ending double play off the bat, but that was some great hustle to beat the throw at first. Keeps the inning alive, and more importantly, he gets an RBI because of it. Lou Gehrig will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Oh, big guy. You drive it right here. Here comes the first pitch. Down the first baseline. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach. A foul ball. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. This is in the air out to right. Renfro is there and he'll bring this one in. So a good job to get the out there, but with five runs already surrendered, that's not going to do any favors to the team ERA so far this season. And as you can see there, they find themselves hovering just a few spaces above the bottom in the entire American League. Ready for another shot now. Lou bat, Gehrig. He flew out in his Good last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly show, just yeah. missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees. It's strike one. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. And a slider oh. gets away from him here as it just about got Wait him in the ankle. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting hey, pitching. It. Drive it. Let's go, big dog. This is line to hey, left. Nice Again, a Make nice clean third. base. It is third of the game. Every game the pitcher gets the lineup card, he circles the guy that can't beat him. Well, obviously, he didn't circle this guy. That's his third knock of the game, and he has been on fire lately. Stepping into the box, Eddie the Matthews. Last time baseman. through was a base hit. Gehrig leads off first with one away. Looking good. Nobody better up there. And whoa, Thank awfully you, close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Here's big Aaron Judge. Lifetime that, against this pitcher. He's got three base Aaron. hits in 17 at-bats. Two of those hits were for home runs.
And whoa, Take awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Into the box, Robinson Cano. He the reached on a fielder's choice previously. Robinson Cano. Hey, come on, big guy. Need you here. Hey, right the guy, two right two. Place. Go. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, back. yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Digging in the switch hitter, Eddie Murray. He's looking to deliver three. here with the bases loaded Eddie. and two out in the inning. Murray. Your turn. Drive him in, kid. Let's go. Two and two count. Here it comes. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. All right, hold He'll on. come hold home on, with it, and they get the force at home. Whatever works as the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four out save, job well done. And tonight's ends at a 6-2 to two finish. The New York Yankees rack up a division-leading 40th victory of the season. Whitey Ford earns his eighth victory of the season. Tyler Glasnow was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Chad Green gets a four-out save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, six runs on 14 hits. No errors, they left 16 men on base. For the Rays, two runs on eight hits. No errors, they left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and five minutes.
afternoon baseball here on the now, show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Tampa Yankees Bay and the Tampa Rays. Bay Rays. Rays baseball is next. Brendan McKay, a Pennsylvania-born lefty, gets the ball to start here. What do we need to know here, Danny? One of the things that jumps out, if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Third. The now at the plate, hitter. Mickey Mantle, Mickey. and he's one to watch out for. Mantle. A seven-game hitting streak it's coming in. First delivery to him on the way. Pops this one up. Longoria moving to his left. Two down. Riding in now once back. again, Mickey Definitely Mantle. He popped out Mickey. in his first trip. Mantle. Has a look. Now the pitch. There's a swing and a missile yeah, sent out to center out. field. A ball that's carrying. A leaping effort, and he brings it in. Two away now after a great effort. That was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. Ball set for the start of the Moving inning. Off, and okay. digging in is the DH, the, the switch hitter, Mickey, Mickey Mantle. Mantle. Hey, have a rip. Like you can't. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. Oh it's 0-1. Oh hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. The windup and the 0-1. 1-1. Hey, get your pitch. Let's go. And he'll come back two with one. one in the dirt as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. Hit out towards second. And this will continue on untouched into center field. Just went right That's past right him. Hey, there's another base knock right there. A hitting streak now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, eight games. Now, nah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, right field, you just know you're knocks. locked in. Reggie. They start talking yeah. eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. The one, two. Is swung on and missed strike three. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Now batting the shortstop, Hannes Wagner. Line to the right side, and that's in there. Look, base hit. Look, and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs where you start oh, figuring out what type of season right you're going to have. He's obviously Eddie. in May, and he's on fire. d he's been locked in from day one of this season, and it's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. That's in there. Base hit. Now the relay home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit.
Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the veteran D.H., Mickey Mantle. Let's go, Mantle. First pitch on its way. Driven deep at the wall. It is gone. <laughs> So a solo shot here to left center field. 24 home runs for him on the season as this is now a seven run ball game. Well if you're just joining us that's the seventh home run hit so far in this game. Really unbelievable stuff. Dan they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Mickey Mantle. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Fly, big guy. Here we go. Here's the first pitch to him. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Round hard, round hard. You're scoring. You're scoring. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. All in all, ten men come to the plate and five score. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. The Yankees lead it 15 to four. Here we go, one time, like a big Ready dog. Ready once again, back, Mickey back, Mantle, back, back. runner in scoring Definitely position with Sugan. Mickey Mantle. Come on, Daddy, one time, here we go. Here comes the first pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly oh, been the up. long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely nope. love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute Let's damage today. One, one of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches, and if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day, and we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's through into center field, base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. He took that back right where it came from. Nice ribby knock right up the chute there. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You, know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders. But that ball was hit just out of his reach, right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. Here you go. Let it fly right Standing here. in, Reggie Jackson. Struggling Reggie. so far in this one and yeah. looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Throw over to first. And he is out on the tag. A run on two hits. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. Four hours.
MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. So the Bronx Bombers will try to complete the series sweep on the road against their division rivals right after this. Blake Snell, the southpaw out of the state of Washington, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, it's real easy to see why this guy's one of the top pitchers. His strikeout per nine ratio is off the charts. What does that tell me? Not only is his stuff good, but when he throws it in the strike zone, he's tough to hit. If he brings his A game, pack up your bats That's because hurt. he's going to punch out hitters. quite a few hitters. Mickey Mantle. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Longoria is over and he puts it away for the first down. Digging in now, Mickey Mantle as we begin the top of the fourth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. <laughs> so a solo shot here to left center field. Number 25 for him on the year. And the Yankees are on the board. It's now a 2-1 ball game. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches, and this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Coming to the plate now, Mickey Mantle. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Murray is off a of first with two away. Hey, stick to your plan up there, kid. Get your pitch and drive it. Swing and a miss for strike one. One, ball, one strike. Come on, let it fly right here. Slow little roller to third. Scooped up He's on out. the second for the force out, and the side is retired. A run. Hey, fly, Digging in fly. now for the Yankees, the Mickey Mantle. Designated hitter, Mickey Mantle. Come on, guy, get your pitch up there. First pitch of the at bat. Fouled away. Four runs, six Here hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. And a slider's oh. in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. One. Hey, I need you right here. One time. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Well, the count is two and one. Driven deep at the wall. It is gone. <laughs> it's a two run shot to straight away left. His second home run of the game, as it's now a one run game, seven to six now. Well, as a team, they've gone yard four times, and this guy's accounted for half of them. Memo to all pitchers the rest of the game, if this guy comes to the plate, you might want to pitch around him. Well, there's no doubt they've looked pre-inept the last five games. 
but they got the monkey off their back here with the win and are hoping to build on that now. 10 to 6, the final score in this game. The Rays crossed the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. Billy Wagner earns his third win of the year in relief. Catfish Hunter permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Rays. Ten runs on 16 hits. One error, they left 14 men on base. For the Yankees, six runs, seven hits. One error, they left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and one minute.